Hey guys, what's up? I'm Guilherme Spindula, I'm a motion designer from Brazil and in this tutorial we are going to create a, a simple intro in a techy style so, uh, and we are going to use the plugin called Stardust and hope you enjoy so let's do it! First, uh, I already created uh, a composition, 6 seconds and uh, we are going to create a solid and rename it Stardust and we just start the plugin and first we are going to create the background uh, but an interesting way, in, interesting way to create a background is to use the grid type so we select in the emitter node type grid and we just let zero zero the speed so we can uh, see better the, the grid let's scale up the grid so looks like a, a grid right now uh, and also in the grid properties let's put three in the Z, Z scale here uh, and I would like to uh, randomize a little bit these uh, particles not just circles and also let's change the life duration of the particles and I already created just to speed up a little bit uh, a smaller composition 100 by 100 pixels and each frame has its own shape so we can randomly uh, choose shapes there so let's come back to, to our, our stardust panel and in the shape we put texture and after that we must choose the shape here so let's put the the particle shapes so to to use just as a reference so let's choose here player particles so right now you can see all the changing shapes but uh, we need to like make it better not just uh, every shape exactly the same so uh, it's very simple you just go to texture time sample and random still frame there's other options too but now it's just random all the, the shapes here uh, and after that let's try to uh, increase a little bit the size maybe 20 or 15 uh, maybe we could randomize also the opacity and also let's change some properties of these of the background particles so in over life I can choose a some presets so maybe the cost bell so in the duration yeah it's okay uh, maybe we can set up a little bit more in the beginning well looks good uh, maybe we could uh, randomize the some rotation properties here so let's randomize the angle but I will limit it to the 2D space uh, so yeah that's good uh, maybe we could uh, change, uh, change the color of the particles here so uh, let's change the color here about the particle color 
uh, we could set up a gradient but let's choose this gradient uh, nothing happens because uh, we have to change it the the texture color use because it's by default let's change to the alpha so now it's applying all the, the changing uh, maybe we could uh, add so uh, other details here let's try to uh, get another particle here and link to the emitter so uh, the emitter is uh, emitting these two particles let's change the life and also let's put these just uh, way, more, way smaller here uh, and after that we can uh, set a replica node and in the replica node maybe we could offset this and ch or change the replicate type so let's choose corners and maybe we could offset in the Z axis maybe 5 let's see what we get oh let's let's get way more replicates so we can have this kind of uh, corners here maybe you could increase the density yeah not too much maybe 200 yeah looks good and would be great if if we uh, these uh, the replica could like maybe animate like a line so uh, we can set up here at the animation properties and link age copy so it just appears and it's going to to start like a like trim like the trim paths style for the shape layers so yeah looks good maybe we could add in this particle let's change the color for a maybe yellow or this kind of orange yeah would be great so this is like the first step maybe we could uh, also change another properties here like the particle maybe uh, put some randomness randomness at the opacity or about the size but anyway it's up to you uh, Maybe we could uh, spread some particles at the center here. Uh, the purpose is to uh, review a logo. So uh, we could put a, a field, a node, so we can maybe add like a sphere here. So let's change, let's increase the size here. Maybe we could animate this would be, would be good so uh, the second part we could uh, add the logo so or the text uh, one of the ways uh, it's to emit uh, emit particles in like a, in the edge of the logo so I'm going to use this logo uh, if I if I just create a text, we can uh, emit from a text. So let's let's organize a little bit. Uh, I will rename this as the logo, uh, and we also have to add some particle. Uh, we we have to we must uh, change for text mask uh, and now we have the layer properties here and we could choose a layer and now it's going to to emit particles by this this mask so uh, the field is changing the behavior of everything 
since uh, it's not linked. So uh, let's set up the this distortion just for the for this particle system here. So now it's not affecting this emitter. So uh, since we want to logo like to get some like lines here, some uh, like a silhouette. Uh, I think the best option is to create a solid and also let's select these all the shapes here, all the lines. So just come and see or control C in Windows. Let's go to After Effects. Uh, let's create a solid. So we can rename this like logo mask. And we just paste it. So we have the, the lines here. And now let's, uh, let's delete the text because we are not going to use anymore. Uh, at the Stardust, let's select the emitter and select the layer. So simple. Now, uh, I will just hide this. Um, all these particles are emitting by the layer. Uh, we can set up maybe more particles. So oh, let's change the speed to zero. Uh, particles also uh, let's increase the life uh, let's put this a little bit smaller uh, and one great thing about this uh, now at the layer properties we have the path properties so uh, we can change this uh, now it's going to volume but we can set up just the edge here so if we increase the particles or yeah in the emitter settings now we can see like a silhouette uh, maybe we could add uh, something like lines here so uh, I, I'm going to use the auxiliary auxiliary and let's put here uh, and you could uh, Hide just for a moment the background if you if you need like more speed. Uh, maybe we could uh, set less particles here. Maybe fifty. And also, uh, if to the auxiliary mode is like uh, when you're you're uh, emitting particles from particles. So let's and set another particle here uh, and now it's a mess so let's uh, put speed to zero in the auxiliary field uh, and let's go to the emitter at the logo and we have path properties uh, maybe we could uh, speed along path so now the Let's set up maybe 40. Let's see what what we are getting. Yeah, looks good. But uh, let's uh, size down these auxiliary particles. Maybe just one or three. Yeah, looks better. Maybe you could like randomize these a little bit. Also the opacity let's put 70 uh, let's set up the background again and also uh, let's change also the particle color here so let's put random from gradient to just to yeah and set up the gradient like the, the gradient before, maybe this greenish, yeah. yeah, maybe look good. So uh, now we have the the basic of the of this project here. Uh, uh, maybe we could 
uh, add a little bit more about uh, some camera things or like uh, camera movement uh, and also some glow and also add some just a background here uh, and maybe we could set up some other color maybe a darker one Just get some uh, greenish, not just totally black here. Uh, maybe just some glow. Stylize, glow. Maybe add, just let's decrease the intensity. Maybe. I don't know. Let's stack up some other glows and increase it a little bit. And maybe we could uh, add some also noise or some lens distortion here, uh, especially in the in this the sides. So start. Uh, Opt compensation. Let's reverse this. Maybe 70. Oh, too much. Well, uh, this is a uh, short English version, okay? Uh, but uh, I think it's a, a good start to to get some uh, intro or logo review, and also we can. Let's get it just a little, maybe more elegant. This is a short version, so uh, you can find... Uh, anyway, this is my first tutorial uh, speaking in English, so uh, I, hope, I hope you like it. Uh, and if you like it, just uh, like the video and subscribe the channel. I'm planning to do uh, other tutorials using the Stardust plugin. So, that's it. Thank you, and... Hope you like it.